Hey everybody, it's John Swartz with Miller. We're here at the Fab School in Riverside, California. And today's project, we're going to be kind of combining three different uh, applications and some different materials. We're going to be starting off with uh, using the Dynasty 200's pulse capabilities uh, with no filler metal and uh, actually applying caps on the end of Nerf bars that are going to be used in the uh, short course off-road series just for aesthetic value. Then we're going to be taking that Nerf bar over into a fixture and we're going to be MIG welding some, some other components onto it. My name is Dan Moore. I uh, am an instructor here at the Fab School. Yeah, these are uh, Nerf bars for uh, stadium trucks. Um, the project actually starts with this piece of tubing and it is uh, then fusion pulse welded. This program has started with the, uh, the bent piece of tubing and a laser cut circle which is just undersized and then what we do is, is uh, it creates an outside fillet which then is pulse welded with the uh, Dynasty 200. From here the Nerf bar gets inserted into the fixture. We have uh, laser cut tabs out of 14 gauge mild steel um, which actually hold a uh, body fastener. Um, the body fastener is then formed and fit and inserted into the fixture. Uh, then we also run a uh, piece of inch and a quarter um, with a uh, just oversized quarter inch hole in one end and fish mouth on the other uh, to ensure a good, a good fit. From there they will be MIG welded. So what we were just looking at is that cap being welded on the end of the Nerf bar just using a fusion weld or an autogenous weld. Um, just melting the two pieces together. It's non-structural, it's more for aesthetic value. Obviously, it's going to be really difficult to, to continue to add material in outside. So, using the Dynasty 200, we capitalized on its pulsing feature. So, right now, we were using 100 amps. Um, we were at 1.5 pulses per second. We had the peak time at 55%, and the background amperage at about 25% of the peak. So if you had it mashed to the floor, that means it would back down to 25 amps off of that 100. As you can see, it turned out great. Now we're going to head on over and we're going to be uh, MIG welding in some of the other components onto that bar. So for this application, we're going to be using the Multimatic 200. Uh, we're going to be running with uh, C25 shielding gas or 7525 shielding gas. We're going to be using O30 wire and we're going to be using the auto set settings set for 8th inch thick material. Now, what we're going to be welding on this in, in this overall weldment here is going to be tube that is 090 thick down to the Nerf bar itself that is uh, 125, and we'll be also welding on some 14 gauge uh, tabs. So, the reason why I'm mentioning that is because that the technique's going to be different than you're probably used to. Um, normally, you would probably see somebody straight weld that all the way around. In this case, we're going to be using a, a pulse weld technique where uh, Jake's going to be welding it manually, basically pulsing the, the MIG gun. And normally, if we had the machine set for the proper setting to straight weld, it would be too cool, we'd have a greater chance of cold lamping in the material. So that's why we're using the 8th inch setting, we're going to melt in the material, essentially pulse it all the way around all these different uh, um, components, and overall, we're going to add less heat into the base material. It's a pretty common practice in the off-road market. So one of the benefits of the Multimatic 200, even within the auto set, is that you can actually fine tune your parameters and it's great for this application. If we used to use the auto set setting for 8th inch thick material with the voltage on this machine set at 17.1, the weld was actually a little too cool, a little too um, ropey, a little too convex. Um, so what we decided to do is turn up the voltage in its maximum setting in the, uh, the fine tune adjustability all the way up to 17.9 we were able to get the bead to lay down flat, still minimal spatter, and it was able to do the job that they needed to do for this application.